Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Random Sing 7. Uh, we, you know, mostly talk about motorcycles, gear reviews, and travel within the Northeast generally. Huh, so, today is uh, day one of the 21 day lockdown of India. But then, I mean, at least I live in Shillong, so what's happened here is uh, there was curfew here since uh, Saturday, last Saturday. There was a statewide curfew, and then Sunday was, uh, what was it, Janta curfew. Monday was open, but we didn't actually go out of the house. I didn't go out of the house, so I've been, you know, inside the house. Uh, yeah, Tuesday was curfew again in Shillong, and yeah, today's Wednesday, and day one of our Prime Minister's curfew, or lockdown. Anyway, so we've been at home for quite some time, and maybe another 21 days. Let's see how this goes. So anyway, meanwhile, uh, I mean, this gives me an opportunity to, you know, look into the different aspects of what I do or what I'm trying to do with the channel, maybe, you know. Like I said, we do gear reviews, so, uh, yeah, I mean, like, we can maybe look into the different writing gears that I use or different things that I probably use and review it every day, if possible. I mean, like, at least to keep me busy. I need to do something creative. I need to make something uh, to help me go through this phase. I mean, like, uh, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's my outlet at least so I, i'm pretty sure you too should be doing something or you will or are doing something that you are interested in or you enjoy doing and that is what you should be doing maybe learn a new skill maybe you know anything so yeah i'm preaching right now anyway yeah so today i mean like yeah i've already unboxed this helmet sometime back in my channel i think i'll whichever site the i button comes that's where the link will be yeah so this is the helmet I've been using for some time now, mostly on my highway rides. Uh, for city, I have another helmet which is here. Ah, hang on. Which is here. But I think I'll retire this in some time, maybe a month or so, whenever I can afford or whenever this thing is over. COVID-19. Coronavirus. In the meanwhile, uh, so I've been using this helmet for my highway rides. This is the MT Revenge 2.0. This is the new version. It's been pretty good. It's been pretty good. I mean, uh, I've enjoyed the fitment of this helmet a lot more. It's really, really comfortable, this helmet, for sure. That, will, that is one thing I can tell you for sure. The way the visor open has changed, uh, it's in the center now here. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. I think earlier it was on the side here, but now it's moved to the center. Uh, I've also put on the pin lock visor insert uh, into my visor, and it's actually pretty incredible i think at least for shillong where the temperature changes a lot it's cold uh the visor tends to fog up if you are using it with the visor down and you don't need to you know leave a small gap you can close this completely and it still doesn't fog up now with the pin lock so this has been like a boon now i mean it's a blessing it's a blessing so yeah i mean uh the helmet has been pretty good the i mean a lot of people are upset that it comes with a sliding mechanism for locking the chin strap but then uh, I feel it's kind of good because I, I tend to use this a little bit more than I was using the D-ring I mean D-ring I knew I was using it whenever I was touring but then it did take an effort and like you know it was difficult for example if I'm wearing my gloves and then I'm trying to put in the D-lock D uh, it's a little difficult but with this uh, even if I have worn my helmet I mean our gloves it's fairly easy to put on the chin strap. Apart from that, <clears throat> what else? What else? Uh, yeah, so it's an EC and dot certified that I've already mentioned. You could probably look it up on the internet and you know find details about it. Uh, wind noise. I think that's one thing people are concerned about. So this helmet is definitely a little quiet, say up to a certain speed. Uh, I find wind noise creeping in into the helmet say after about uh, 70 to 80 kilometers once you hit that speed it is definitely noisy and no matter what you do if even if, if even if you close the chin vents or the vents on top it is still very very noisy there's no escaping that so at least uh what happened or why i got this helmet was because i got an axis and then uh, the padding here wasn't that good of the axis and wind used to enter from here and i used to get that whistling noise but with this, uh, I get a complete seal with my head here, and there's no whistling noise at all. So that has at least, you know, gone away. But uh, what has also happened is, hang on, let me show it to you. Just wait on.
Okay, uh, what has also happened is I've started using these. So, I mean, like, there's obviously no escaping the fact that, you know, any helmet, unless, say, we're using a Schubert, there will be wind noise. And there's no escaping it. You simply have to live with that. But instead, you need not, or you should not actually live with that wind noise. I mean, it's not good for long term, you know, your hearing, you might lose it. So what I've started using is these. Uh, these are earplugs. Uh, these are 3M earplugs that you can use and dispose of if needed, but these are reusable and washable. So these have helped uh, reduce the wind noise to quite an extent, but then I'm still getting used to it, and especially with the balaclava, it's very difficult putting it in. Or it's not difficult putting it in. What happens is if I put in and then wear the balaclava and then try to wear the helmet, every time it comes off. So I'm still trying to figure out uh, how to use these effectively, yeah. And I think I have another set which are the foam types. I don't think I have an open one that. So these are the foam type uh, earbuds. These should ideally stay a little better in the ear. I don't know if you can see these. Okay, hang on, let me open it for you. Yeah, so uh, these are the foam type and these are the washable silicon type. So these are pretty much use and throw. These you can wash and reuse them. So uh, it, so these take a better shape of your ear. These are a little, you know, uh, they create a little bit more suction and seal. It's like using these, uh, I don't know what do you call it? I don't use earphones, so yeah. The earbuds that you get where it, you know, seals against the ear. It's pretty similar to that. So it kind of makes a good seal and seals off all the wind. And it, you know, helps reduce the wind noise in the helmet. So anyway, uh, I'm trying to start using these, or I'm trying to start, yeah, to use these. Hopefully, I, I think, you know, any helmet, say around the 10K mark will not have a decent enough noise reduction, wind noise reduction. So, I mean, you need to find better ways to reduce that. Uh, and these are, I think, according to me, one of the better solutions. So yeah, uh, very good helmet. I like the fact that it's, uh, easier to use. I mean, I don't mind the slide-in mechanism for the chin strap. Apart from that, the padding is really, really comfortable. I really liked it. Uh, the pin lock has been a blessing. And then, yeah, I've put on my GoPro mount, GoPro mount here. And uh, yeah, I haven't used it that much, maybe a thousand kilometers or so. And in that thousand kilometers, yeah, the you know, cruising speeds of about 80, 90, when noise is definitely there. And no escaping the fact that there won't be even noise in any helmet, say around the 10k mark. So these, these are your better bet, better solution. Please invest invest in one of these. Uh, yeah. So that's about it for now. Uh, let's see. I mean, uh, 21 days to go. Today is day one. If we can, if I can at least churn out maybe a video a day. Keeps me busy. Busy keeps me. It gives me some topic to talk about. Actually, I mean, I don't know whether who's there listening or not. But if you can comment and tell me whether you're listening to my, uh, whatever I'm saying, please let me know. Okay then guys, bye-bye, stay safe, stay indoors, do not wander out, you don't need to go out until it's an emergency. I've been staying inside the house for about 5 days now and another 21 days to go. Until then, please subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye.